and he's traveled around participating in different seminars and speaking engagements. What I know about Mark is that he's very inspirational and his sincerity shines through his speeches. So without further ado, let's give him a warm welcome. His title this time is Time to Speak is Now. Mark Guy. Speak up and you can change your life. Speak up, and you can give a voice to someone who doesn't have one. Fellow Toastmasters, distinguished area director, and friends, have you ever remained silent about things that matter to you? I have. In fact, silence and I were the best of friends. I used to run into its warm embrace so we could sit together in silence. What a great time. And it started when I was just a little boy, when we first came to this country from Russia. I was so excited. I'm going to make so many new friends. And I hope they like me. I was finally at the land of the free and the home of the brave. Except brave, I was not. I remember walking to school on the first day and my hands were shaking with fear. And my legs froze. And all my childhood dreams of making friends got burst just like the water bubbles in the air. It may be hard for you to believe, but I wasn't always this big, all this charming. <laughs> On the very first day, I got teased and bullied. Maybe because of my strange looks, or maybe because of my strange accent. But by the time lunchtime came around, I couldn't speak. In fact, I clenched the plastic food tray in my hands and covered my face. I was a stranger in a strange land. Have you ever felt like me? That you couldn't speak? Over the years I learned that silence can kill. Silence almost killed me. Ten years ago, I moved on with my life. Got a new home, new job in Philadelphia, and a new girlfriend. Everything was going great, except as we tangled together in our relationship, I realized there were some major differences between us. And do you ever get this feeling inside in your gut that something is wrong? And you say nothing. See, I was convinced that keeping silent was the best way to handle the differences. Boy, was I wrong. One day, my girlfriend asked to meet her friends. Sure. I know, we found ourselves in a bad section of town. Then I was assaulted and robbed and left to die by those same friends. And my girlfriend? She left! What? Abandoned me. As I woke up, I was my face down on the ground regain my consciousness. First thought, it came to my mind. I have got to learn how to be better girlfriends. <laughs> See, before that night in Philadelphia, it was I who abandoned myself first. Every time I had a chance to speak up for things that mattered to me, guess what I said? how I learned silence and kill. When you don't speak up, you have to live with the consequences of your silence. But it doesn't have to be that way. It starts with the courage of speaking up. And I learned that from my friend, Anna. I met her in Orlando. 
we work together in a nonprofit. She heard all my stories. She made fun of me. We became friends. One day, the boss at our firm asked to speak to Anna. Now, he had a reputation as a bully, beating people into the submission with his words. His way or the highway. A few minutes into the meeting, I see Anna running for the exit. I said, Anna, wait! What happened? She stopped. She looked at me. And I saw tears going down her face. And in her silence, I heard her voice. Time to speak is now. I had flashbacks of all those years that I've been bullied. As I walked over to see my boss, I looked him straight in the eye and said, I cannot do this. I cannot be part of any organization that bullies people anywhere, anytime. Because silence kills. Anna and I both left. But me speaking up gave courage to others to stand up to that boss and make changes. But Anna was never bullied again. If someone like me, with my strange looks and my strange accent, can do that, just imagine what you can do. See, every time we remain silent about things that matter <coughs> to us, we take a step backwards. And then one day, we look at ourselves in the mirror, and all we see is just a patchwork of moments of silence sewn together with fear. The time to speak is now. Because when you do, you have the courage to step forward. And your heart will remind you, even in your heartbreak, that you still know how to love. When you speak up, you're reminded how to be a friend. And you can give a voice to someone who doesn't have one. Now, I get it. It is scary, scary, scary to speak up, especially if you've been hurt. I know. But you have to. Because when you do, Finally, let go of the fear and grab hope. And that means something. A few weeks ago, my friend told me, Mark, your life shrinks and expands according to your courage. But you'll never know it unless you speak up. example for us. We always had a really <coughs> good sense of timing and, and uh, vocal variety. You know, it's, it's really good. So what do you guys think? Just for a general commentary on, on this speech. Am I going to start? Don? Oh. Okay. oh, sure. I absolutely, uh, as Mr. Moore said, I appreciated your vocal variety, and I thought you time, you expressed that very well. Your voice was quiet, and then it would come back and come at us, and then bring it again, and it fit very well with what you were saying. I thought you did a really great job with that. And I appreciate your vulnerability. When you speak, I've seen you speak before, you let everyone in to you and who you are, and that was very brave and amazing that you shared that about yourself. So I really appreciate that, and you've inspired me. Right. So I, I appreciate that, so thank you. Thank you, that's, um, that's I can hope for that. Yeah, for sure. Right. You hear that song? Uh, one thing I would meant first, is this a competitive speech you're doing? It, yes. Because you were pretty close on time there. What, what we need to do at the UR, that's a good observation. 7.30, you're done. 7.30, is that my time? Yeah, um, we need to shave some of that off. We do. Yeah, I would shave off your girlfriend at the end because you lost me there. What girlfriend? <laughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, the co worker. The co worker. Oh, okay. The co worker in the nonprofit, it was like I started losing you at that point. Okay, okay. So 
thought it was a good example, but okay. You mean I mean, you do what you want, but that's just my thought. thought. You mean the friend at the very, very end? When you mentioned your friend? And yeah, I, actually, I wasn't familiar, I wasn't clear on See, exactly. You too. Yeah, when you mentioned, were you talking about your friend Anna? Were you talking about a new friend? No, no, I was talking about Anna. I wasn't sure okay. when you were talking about yeah, that. Yeah, and I got lost there too. Yeah, I got lost there also. All right, well, that's 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 a major problem. And your time, too. He knew his time, he told me that time he's <coughs> practicing the speech before he's been slightly over, so that's something. Yeah, like so you, might want to yeah you, had, that. you had a very good dramatic delivery. Yeah. And but what they're saying is if you want to cut those 30 seconds, the intro on where you say, you know, I met this lady and, you know, we, we worked together and we yeah. developed a friendship, you could probably pare that down another 20 seconds and just say, I was at a place and this is what happened. Okay. You know, someone okay. who couldn't speak up. I found my voice for her. You yeah, know. you know what? I think you're right. Yeah, I can compress it somehow that um, that incident because that's what really gave me the courage to speak for her, mm -hmm. and that what started. Like you, you can speak up for her, then you can speak up for you. Right. Basically, yeah. that's what I felt. But okay. Yeah. yeah. And the one I, I would have like when you said you left Russia. Yeah. Describe what you left, but not in too detail. Like I was living. Uh, it was so cold, and you know I. It was cold. <laughs> it was cold. It was, cold it was two feet of snow. You know, the plane was getting ready to take off, and it was two feet of snow on the ground. And you know, we had all our coats on, and the plane got warm. And then that way, people have a visual where you can. Okay. 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 Do you feel, Michael, that um, as a speaker presenting, being specific where I'm from, Russia, mm -hmm. does that add value to the speech, or I could just say I came? this country without mentioning where I'm from. Do you feel that adds value uh, to you as an audience member? Yeah, because it, it increases your vulnerability. I absolutely oh, okay. agree with that. Okay. Yeah, saying that you were from Russia, okay. actually you drew me right in. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. because it takes yeah. a lot of yeah. guts to come here from Russia. Absolutely. Yes. Because of the language barrier, and there's, there's tension between us and Russia. It's no big secret. You know? So, I want tension in my audience. <laughs> well, you know, it's you know what I mean. I know. Yeah, that's why you're, it's you're getting up there and laying your your life out on the line in front of everybody, and you're from a, a country that's you know, it's good. Uh, I, it's all good. Well, use yeah. that to your advantage. It's a call I have to make. But yes, yes. yes. Okay, let's uh, move on to what you had a comment. Yes, I really enjoyed the speech. And, uh, for me, the subject matter was uh, uh, on point. I've been there many a times and have chosen to. Uh, not speak sometimes when I shoot it, in particular with my significant other. <laughs> but um, you brought out some good points in that uh, silence can hurt or kill, and the things that uh, you need to speak about, you need to go ahead and speak about them and address them, uh, and, and don't let them just lie dormant. But I really enjoyed your uh, delivery. Uh, I felt the story uh, as you were uh, delivering it, and I uh, thought you did a good job. You, Like I said, you vocal variety was good, your intonations, all that kind of stuff was uh, really good, really felt uh, the story. So I really enjoyed that. I appreciate that. And I liked the reference to A Stranger in a Strange Land. It's yes, one of my favorite books back in the day. It's, it's a book? <laughs> 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 yeah, science fiction. So just, okay. just one more comment about yes. the gestures. Yes. I found that uh, your vocal variety is really good, but your body should have that flexibility according to your content. So at one point, I found that your gestures are not giving that justice to your words. Okay. And that point was when you was describing how your girlfriend abandoned you and her friends robbed you. Yes. So you have to just loosen your body so that it can okay. make some impact there. So if I understand you correctly, you're talking about uh, body variety, yes. or gesture yes. variety, just yeah. so be mm -hmm. more... Um, more uh, m uh, loosen your body so loosen that the it body. will not okay. look rigid for that particular scene. So you have felt that I was rigid? Yeah, little bit. Okay, yeah. okay. That's a good observation. One thing you, are, you excel at is icon. And that's what I meant when I get in your intro about sincerity. 
when you look at that points when you, you, you get at me, you're looking at everyone. I felt like man is piercing through my soul. You get the eye contact down, and that's good because that comes across in a very real way. So that kind of pulls you in. I, I, it's it's a delicate balance as a speaker, as you know, and everyone knows. You don't want to make the audience feel uncomfortable. Yeah, you don't want to make them uncomfortable because if you anchor or stay too long. Everybody's different, and everyone perceives eye contact different. So, as a speaker, you have—I uh, think it's a craft. You have to feel it. You have to feel it. And the people who are in the front, they get the the worst. I'm sorry. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Those are great comments. Thank you. Guys. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Let's call up Toastmaster Bosch and hear his interesting table topics. Uh, uh.